The love of my life. And to coming home. Whatever happened to you, you already knew the truth. And you decided that you didn't want to remember it anymore. And as much as we wanted to know what the answer is, if you decided that, then there had to have been a reason. Maybe that's why I asked them to make me forget. So I could come home to you. So maybe we could, you know, if you wanted. If I wanted to what? what? I mean, we could try something else tonight. Something else as in? Yeah, I mean, we haven't since. Yeah, well, given everything that's happened, I thought you just, you weren't ready. I thought that you weren't ready. I'm ready. I'm, I, I'm, I'm so ready. I, I'm ready, too. Like, I'm really ready. Okay, but then, then what are we waiting for? <laughs> I guess I didn't have. Look out! Oh, God. Mr. Castle, you saved my life. Why? Because I love you, Kate. Mr. Castle. No, please don't go. Stay with me. Stay with me, Castle. 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 Beckett. Yeah. It's you. Yeah. My you. I'm back. <laughs> Trying to figure it out. How do you live with the man who's lost two months of his life and left you at the altar? How do I live with the pain I know I've caused you? How do we get past this? I wish I knew. I think I have the answer. We just do. So, Catherine Beckett, will you marry me? I've already said yes. Will you marry me right now? I love you, Richard Castle. And I want to live my life in the warmth of your smile and the strength of your embrace. I promise you, I will love you. I will be your friend and your partner in crime and in life, always. I love you, Catherine Beckett. And the mystery of you is the one I want to spend the rest of my life exploring. I promise to love you be your friend, and your partner in crime, and life, till death do us part, and for the time of our lives. <laughs> by the power vested in me by the state of New York, I now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> you are no longer permitted to work with the NYPD. So I um, got my draft of the poem for the family Christmas card. Want to hear it? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> this has been an epic year. Life's been full of joy and tears. Solving crimes and catching killers just like Castle's famous thrillers. We share a passion every day as partners go. We are here to stay. It's great. What could be wrong? Go here. Oh.
Beckett? They have her. Damn it. All right, let's get CSU down here. 1045. I want every available unit camp. Ask everyone to quit. Nobody got to take the security and traffic camps in the area. Any ATM businesses, please. Castle, wait! Get back! It's a trap! two months I was missing. Two days. I didn't know where you were and it nearly killed me. You ever think about what happened? When you were gone? All the time. Every time I close my eyes, I see her. She is too. Since that night on the bridge. You know how I deal with it? I open my eyes and look at you. You were restless again last night. What's going on? Nothing. Babe, you keep saying that, and it keeps getting worse. You're whimpering in your sleep. It's been every night for a week. So come on, talk to me. It's just a dream. So it's a recurring dream? Okay, about what? About when I went missing, I think. Um, so why didn't you want to tell me about it? Probably because I didn't want to make a big deal of it. But it is a big deal. You lost two months of your life and you're dreaming about it now? Hey. I got here as soon as I could. Never soon enough. I'm just glad that you're okay. I am so sorry, Kate, for everything I put you through. Babe, it's not like you're partying in Thailand. You have the best excuse ever for missing our wedding. You're saving the world. Yeah. Still a lot of unanswered questions, though. Like, how did I get shot? Why was I gone for two months? Yeah, you may not know everything. No. But I know enough. Straight to that. Yeah. You ready to talk about it? 
I was 11 years old. I walked for hours. I was cold, completely lost. And that's when I saw him. A figure clad in black, kneeling. And after a few moments, he left. And that's when I saw her on the ground. Her? A body. First body I ever saw. Her throat had been slit and those same symbols were carved into her forehead and her cheeks. I touched her arm. I remember thinking how cold it was. Tell anyone what you've seen here today and I'll find you and kill you. Do you understand? Go! Why do you think he let you live? I don't know. That day in the woods, okay, that's why I do what I do. I'm driven to figure out the story because I could never figure out that one. Why didn't you ever tell me this before? I think I didn't want it to be real, but it is real. He's real. He killed before and he just tried to kill again. I thought you were practicing your speech for tonight. Oh, yeah, I was. I just, um... I couldn't help but wonder, if it wasn't for him, for that day in the woods, would I even be here? Would we be here? Babe, we're not here because of him. We're here because of who we are in the face of people like him. That's why you write mysteries. That's why I became a cop. We're both trying to bring justice to this world. Now, I'm gonna go and get dressed so I can be very proud tonight of who you are. And Kate, Seven years ago, I thought I would never write again. And then you walked through the door. Richard Castle, you are under arrest for felony theft and obstruction of justice. You forgot making you look bad, and my whole world changed. You were right. You said I had no idea. You have no idea. But now I do. I love you, Richard Castle. This is because of you. You are extraordinary. Because of us. I love you, Catherine Beckett, and your partner in crime, and life. Till death do us part. And for the time of our lives, always.